Hello everyone. The majority of lavalier microphones have omnidirectional pickup patterns, but there are some out there with cardioid patterns. I always figured that the cardioid lav mics were mainly for specialized use cases, such as miking an instrument, but not so much for dialogue. My assumption was that an omnidirectional pattern would give you a more natural sound in a normal dialogue use case where the mic is down on your chest or possibly on your collar and you might be turning your head at times, etc. A cardioid pattern is directional, so it's mostly sensitive, you know, directly in front of the microphone, but also it's not just less sensitive off axis, but it can actually have a slightly different tone because some frequencies will fall off at a greater rate than others the further off axis they are. But a cardioid mic does provide better isolation from echo and feedback in a poor recording space, as well as just general isolation from surrounding noise. So I decided to pick up a couple of cardioid lavalier microphones of different price levels and do some comparisons with an omnidirectional lavalier. The two cardioid microphones I have are the Audio-Technica AT829 and the Countryman B2D. And both of those are cardioid pattern microphones. And I'm just going to do some comparisons with a kind of a standard omnidirectional lavalier. This is the Sennheiser ME2. So let's get started. And for the first test, I'm just still here in my sound booth. And right now I'm using the Sennheiser ME2 omnidirectional lav, and it's just clipped to the front of my shirt. And I'm facing straight ahead right now. So in this situation, looking straight ahead, this is how it sounds in a space without a whole lot of reflections. But now I'm going to turn my head to the left. I'm now facing pretty much directly to the left. And this is how, you know, this omnidirectional mic sounds. And I'm turning my head again, I went past center. Now I'm looking directly to the right. So now I'm facing directly to the right. This is how this one sounds. Turning my head again. Now I'm looking straight ahead again. Now I'm going to look up. Now I'm looking up pretty much towards the ceiling of my sound booth. And this is how the Omni mic sounds. And now I'm looking back down. Now I'm looking straight ahead. Now I'm going to keep tilting my head. And now I'm looking straight down. So I'm almost talking straight into the microphone. And this is how it sounds. And now I'm back to just looking straight ahead. So that's how the omnidirectional lavalier microphone sounds here in my sound booth. All right, next up is the Audio-Technica AT829. This is the first cardioid lavalier microphone. It is still clipped to the same spot on my shirt that the Omni mic was. It is pointing as straight up at my mouth as I could make it. And I'm just starting out looking straight ahead. So now if I turn my head to the side, now I'm looking directly to the left. And now I'm going to turn my head again, back looking straight, continuing to turn. Now I'm actually looking directly to the right. So, you know, kind of looking away from the microphone. Now I'm turning again. Now I'm looking back straight ahead and I'm going to start looking up. Now I'm looking straight up at the ceiling of the sound booth. And this is how it sounds when I'm, you know, just talking about as directly away from the microphone as I can. And now I'm going to be looking back down. Now I'm looking back straight ahead, continuing to tilt my head down. And now I am just talking, looking almost straight down, talking practically directly into the microphone. Hopefully I'm not popping it. But um, this is how it sounds looking straight down almost right into it and now I'm back to looking just straight ahead so this is how the cardioid uh, Audio-Technica AT829 sounds just clip to my shirt in my sound booth here when I kind of look around a little bit so let's move on to the next mic and finally this is the Countryman B2D it is clipped right to the front of my shirt just where the other ones were and it is pointed you know as close as I could get it straight to my mouth and I'm talking just looking straight ahead right now but if I start turning my head, now I'm looking directly to the left and, you know, kind of facing away from the microphone, turning my head again, looking back straight, keeping turning my head. Now I'm looking directly to the right, turning again. Now I'm looking back straight ahead. But now if I look straight up, looking straight up at the ceiling of the sound booth, and <laughs> this is how it sounds, looking up. And now I'm looking back straight ahead again. And now I've tilted my head down and I'm looking straight down, so I'm talking nearly directly into the microphone and this is how it sounds there and now I'm back to looking just straight ahead with this uh, cardioid lavalier microphone so that's how these three microphones sound here in my sound booth so let's move to a couple of different environments and see how it sounds there
So now I'm outside in a fairly open area, but I've got a lot of traffic noise around me. So we'll see if the cardioid microphones do any better job in this kind of situation at blocking out some of this extraneous noise. So once again, I'm starting out with the omnidirectional Sennheiser ME2 microphone. Again, still just clipped to my shirt and I'm just looking straight ahead talking normally. Now, if I turn my head to the right and continue talking, we'll see how much difference that makes when I'm outside. Now I'm looking straight up at the sky. Now I'm looking straight ahead again. Now I'm looking straight to the left. And now I'm looking straight down at the microphone. And once again, looking straight ahead, omnidirectional microphone with some traffic noise and a little bit of wind, but hopefully it's not getting picked up by the mic too bad. So now let's move on to the first cardioid microphone. All right, and now I've just switched out to the Audio-Technica AT829. So this is the first cardioid microphone. Once again, clipped to the same spot on my shirt. Same traffic noise, staying in the same spot. So let's see if this cardioid microphone does any better at rejecting the fairly decent amount of ambient noise that there is around me right now. So once again, starting out, just looking straight ahead, talking normally. Now I'm gonna turn my head to the side. Now I'm facing directly to the right turn my head again now I'm facing back straight now I'm looking straight up at the sky now I'm looking straight ahead again now I'm looking directly to the left now I'm looking straight ahead again and now I'm looking down talking almost directly into the mic and looking back ahead again this is how the AT829 does in a situation with a decent amount of ambient noise and let's see if this is any different better worse than the omnidirectional microphone and finally, I'm recording with the Countryman B2D microphone. Same situation, mic <laughs> clipped to my shirt, same spot. Uh, traffic noise has actually died down just a little bit here, but hopefully the light will change and that'll come back. Uh, but once again, I'm just looking straight ahead. And this is how the Countryman B2D microphone sounds. Now I'm going to turn my head to the side. Now I'm looking directly to the right. Now I'm looking straight up at the sky and this is how it sounds like that. Looking back straight ahead again, turning my head again. Now I'm looking directly to the left and this is how it sounds like that. And now I'm back looking straight ahead and this is how the Countryman B2D sounds. Um, again, <laughs> there hasn't been a whole lot of traffic noise but the light just changed. That traffic's gonna start moving again so I'm just gonna talk just a tiny bit longer so that we can get a little bit more fair comparison. So now those cars are moving again. They're streaming past me. And this is how the Countryman B2D cardioid microphone does in a situation like this with a pretty significant amount of traffic noise. So once again, let's see if this is any better than the omnidirectional microphone. Oh, and if I didn't already do it, <laughs> this is me looking straight down because I don't think I did. So this is looking straight down, talking almost directly into the microphone. And then once again, looking straight ahead. So there's that part. All right, now I'm out in the garage, which is an area with quite a lot of echo, quite a lot of reverb, and you can definitely hear that in the recordings. And once again, I'm starting with the omnidirectional lavalier, which is again, Sennheiser ME2. And I'm just looking straight ahead, straight at the wall. And uh, this is how it sounds. And if I turn my head to the right, now I'm looking directly to the side. Now I'm looking straight ahead again. Now I turn my head, I'm looking directly to the left. Now I'm looking straight up at the ceiling. Now I'm looking straight ahead again. Now I'm looking straight down at the floor. So looking basically straight at the mic almost. And now once again, looking straight ahead with the omnidirectional microphone. All right, now I've just switched out to the first of the cardioid microphones. In this case, this is the Audio-Technica AT829. It's clipped to the same spot in my shirt, pointing roughly as close as I can get it to the center of my mouth, but you know, down below my shirt. And once again, just starting out facing straight ahead, talking normally. Now I'm gonna turn my head to the right. Now I'm looking directly off to one side, the right side in this case. And now I'm facing straight ahead again. And now I turn my head to the side. Now I'm facing directly to the left. And now I'm facing straight ahead again. Now I'm looking straight up at the ceiling. And this is how it sounds like that. Now I'm looking straight ahead again. 
And now I'm looking straight down at the floor, talking almost directly into the microphone. And finally, now I'm just facing perfectly straight ahead again at the wall. So this is how the first of the cardioid lavalier sounds. Is it actually cutting out any of the echo, any of the reverb? Does it sound better than the Omni? We'll find out. And finally, we have the second cardioid lavalier microphone, the Countryman B2D. And as you're probably getting tired of hearing me say by now, it's clipped into the same spot on my shirt, pointing straight up at my mouth, and I'm just facing straight ahead at the wall. So I'm gonna start turning my head. Now I'm turned to the side. I'm looking directly to the right. And now I'm turning my head again, once again, facing straight ahead forward. Now I'm turning my head and now I'm facing directly to the left. Now I'm looking straight up at the ceiling. Now I'm looking straight ahead again. And now I'm looking pretty much straight down, talking almost directly into the microphone. And finally ending once again, looking straight ahead with the Countryman B2D cardioid lavalier microphone clipped to my shirt and I'm standing here in the echoey garage. Does the cardioid microphone cut out any of the echo and reverb any better than the Omni? Okay, I'm sure you can listen and decide for yourselves what you thought of the results, but here are my thoughts. With the two cardioid microphones, the sound didn't change as much as I thought it might when I turned my head, but that's likely due to the fact that the largest part of the tone shift was already present simply due to the fact that the mic was 90 degrees from my mouth already, you know, being clipped down on my shirt. I don't think they ever sounded quite natural until I was looking down and my mouth was facing towards them. The B2D sounded okay when I wasn't facing it, but even when looking straight ahead, it just wasn't quite as full and rich sounding as when I was looking down and facing it. The Audio-Technica was downright thin sounding when I wasn't looking at it. Still not terrible, but not great. The audio from the Omnidirectional Lav obviously changed in volume as I turned my head, but even when looking down at it, the tone didn't change that much other than getting louder. The cardioid mics did reduce the traffic noise, particularly the Audio-Technica AT829, although I think some of that was due to the reduced low-end response from that mic in general. Both the cardioid mics also reduced echo in the garage, but for me, I don't think the difference is worth it. The Omnidirectional Lav just sounded more natural more of the time. It picks up a bit more ambient sound and room tone, but I still think I prefer it overall. I think that the Countryman mic has potential because it sounds more natural than the Audio-Technica, but that self-noise is just awful. I'm actually going to reach out to Countryman to see what they say about it. I imagine if you were miking a loud sound source like an instrument or an opera singer, the signal-to-noise ratio might be okay. Or maybe if it was mounted on a headset boom near your mouth or something like that. But for normal conversation level speech with the mic just down on a shirt collar, it's just about the worst self-noise I've ever heard. The options out there for cardioid lav mics is a bit limited, but there are a few options beyond these two. However, going only on my experience with these two mics, I'll be sticking with omnidirectional lav mics. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.